Taking a look at the Steam Hardware and Software Survey, May 2024. So if you've never heard of this, they conduct a survey through Steam. They take your computer's information anonymously, put it all together, and give everyone the results. So it's good to see kind of what's going on with computer hardware related to gamers. Let's start off with the GPUs. This is probably one of the more interesting. It's being sorted by percentage share. We've got the DirectX version. 12 is one of the more recent. Most of the computers support that, but not every single computer. So if you're developing a game and you only do DirectX 12, you will limit a little bit of your audience, but not a huge amount. So we're at 98.81%. The most popular one right now is the 3060, 6.19% of the market on Steam at the very least. So it's a reasonable percent. It used to be the 1060. I still have my 1060, but it's currently not being used in a computer because I swapped to a 4060, which is also on the list. And that's only at 2.82%. So a lot of people have not upgraded to a 4060 from whatever else they were using compared to the 3060, which is clearly going to be one of the more popular options right now. Other than that, we see the 2060, 3070, the 1060 is in there, the 3050, 4060 laptop, 1050 Ti, 1660, 3080. So you don't see any of the very expensive crazy cards except for the 3080, which would be up there in price. Obviously you can buy that used and it's lower cost now at this point compared to the 40 series. AMD doesn't really show up much in this list. I'm part of the problem because I bought a 4060 instead of going AMD. But uh, the only thing up there for AMD is integrated graphics at 2.29% the market. We have to scroll down to the RX 580 to have a discrete AMD GPU on the list at 0.94%. So let me go full screen for this. AMD maybe consider trying to make your cards more appealing in price if not features something just to uh, hopefully be more relevant in the gpu space for standard consumers obviously amd makes gpus for gaming consoles and such and that's probably where they make a lot of their money they get a clue at some point and either really improve their feature set make them more efficient making them lower costs to a degree that it makes sense to go AMD. According to this survey, that's not really the case. The AMD RX 6600 is one of the more reasonably priced GPUs and given the performance just for standard situations, that was a good deal for the most part. And it does reflect in the percentages. Obviously, it's a relatively minimal percent even compared to the 3060, but at 0.81%, it's notable in this list. So if AMD does want to improve their market share and such in GPUs, they need to go that route with very cost-effective, appealing GPUs. I do want to see them succeed. It's just they're not... It just doesn't seem like they're trying hard enough. Hopefully they get a clue because NVIDIA needs all the competition they can not want but should have. Looking at Intel... We've got integrated graphics, which usually laptops that are on the lower end of cost are just integrated graphics. No surprise there. But if we scroll down and keep looking, we don't even see their recent discrete GPUs. Looks like Intel Arc is not even on the list, which is too bad. Hopefully they improve with their new Battle Mage. Sounds cool. I wouldn't mind a Battle Mage GPU. Intel. Go ahead and send me one. Let's take a quick look at the DirectX versions. This really isn't super relevant. I mean, it's helpful to know, but if you are doing game development, you can get an idea of which DirectX version to target to get the most potential audience for your game. And Windows version, Windows 10 is still top of the list with 52.23%. Windows 11 is up there. Now at 47.78%, it is going up in comparison to Windows 10. Obviously, Microsoft is trying to push Windows 11 and cut off Windows 10 from security updates at some point. I don't remember the specific date. I still use Windows 10 and my computer hardware currently does not support Windows 11. 
So who knows what's going to happen in the future with all of that. But if you're using Windows 7, Windows 8.1, and it's on the internet, probably a bad idea. But it looks like there is a, a subset of people using that stuff. Got the 3060 at the top of the list here. 12.02% for Vulkan systems. That's another API. Look at the CPU breakdown. In May, we've got 66.84% for Intel. And AMD is increasing in market share a little bit, at least through Steam, 34.69%. Not a huge difference over the multiple months shown here, but it is going up. I wouldn't mind going AMD for my next build whenever that's going to happen. Who knows when? But uh, yeah, AMD definitely seems to be doing better on the CPU side compared to the GPU side of things. Hopefully they get their GPU act together at some point. I don't know what Microsoft XTA is, but it's on the list here. Maybe that's some type of uh, ARM processor. And looking at the megahertz, I don't think this is super relevant. I wish they would have broken down the information differently. Maybe IPC or something would have been much more useful, but I don't know if they're able to get that type of data. But you can see the megahertz and it's probably just going up Kind of cool, but not super helpful. Looking at the number of CPUs for the system, this is more interesting than the megahertz, in my opinion. Six CPUs, it says physical. I don't know if that includes hyper-threading or not, but six is on the list here as the most popular at 33.94%, and it's going down a little bit. So that probably means people are getting more cores per system. Moving forward, so we've got eight CPUs. It is going up. In comparison to six so eight is probably going to be the sweet spot for a while moving forward personally if i'm trying to upgrade i do a lot of creative work i'm going to go with more cpus if i can make it work in my case i still am on a i7 6700 cpu which is four cores and then it's eight threads which i assume would be on the list here and it's actually going up in the list so 19.85 percent for four CPUs. Yeah, blame it on the CPU manufacturers more than anything. They do also break down the physical CPUs based on Linux. So we've got four as the most popular at 58.43%. This is interesting because a lot of the time Linux might have a situation where you use that instead of Windows when your computer is getting older and older. So you could see in this case, that might be true, but it could also be swayed or slanted based on the Steam Deck. I don't know how many CPU cores that has, but I'm pretty sure it'd be in this list, given the SteamOS is Arch Linux based. OS X is also on the list, and the most popular is 8 CPUs for the system, 52.71%. Then it goes up to 10. There's a little box for Mac hardware ownership. You can see the different types of Macs and everything's going down. I don't know what that specifically means. Maybe their market share is dropping for their standard computers, but the MacBook Pro is barely visible. We've got the yellow one, which is the MacBook Air, which is a pretty large one, and MacBook Pro, which is the largest. So I guess that's what Apple people are using on Steam. Same thing with VR headsets, looking at the breakdown of the different types that are most popular. The Oculus is the highest on Steam. MetaQuest is definitely making a showing. The Valve Index as well, no surprise on Steam. You know, people would want to use the Valve. Operating system version, we've got Windows 10 at the top. And OS X is a very small percent, 1.47. It is going up slightly though. And Linux itself is also going up, but I think that's mostly due to the Steam Deck, given that Arch Linux is what it's based on, and that's part of the thing that's going up. But actually, Mint is going up as well. Interesting. I think this might change if Microsoft doesn't get a clue and make Windows 11 more widely supported on old hardware. We're probably going to see Linux go up in percentage, because if you have an old computer that works just fine and windows won't give you security updates and in, in anything or even let you upgrade yeah go to linux and have that old computer be fully functional another thing to look at is ram system ram my current computer i upgraded to 64 gigabytes of ram 
and I'm in a club of 3.19% of users. I just did it because it was pretty cheap and I wanted to see if it made any difference. Can't really tell much of a difference, but I think it does help some situations, especially if you multitask a lot. But 16 gigabytes of RAM for the system is going down in user base. I think that's smart. Go for 32 if you can at this point, which is 28.72% of the Steam user base. Video card VRAM percentages. Let's take a look here. 8 gigabytes is at 34.2%. In my case, that is what I have on the 4060. I'm not thrilled that it's only eight, but you know, Nvidia doing Nvidia things. In this case, 12 gigabytes would be the 3060. I don't know what other cards have 12, maybe the 40 series, 30 series, 3070 and such have 12 gigabytes as well, but that's at 17.43% of the market. Obviously, with the advent of large language models, stuff like that, hopefully GPUs get more and more VRAM. I feel like it's going to be unlikely, but I'm hoping maybe AMD and Intel will push for more VRAM and NVIDIA will have to copy them, but we'll see. We will see. Primary display resolution. In my case, I'm still on 1080p. My recent monitor purchase was 1080p. I don't have a big reason to go up from there at the moment, but that is at 58.08% going down slightly. Next up, we have 2560 by 1440 at 18.72%. 3840 by 2160, that's only at 3.73%. Now there's different variants of 4K, different aspect ratios to consider. So you can add those up if you want. But there are surprisingly quite a few of these tiny resolutions, like 720p and lower or just different aspect ratios that are still on the list. They could be smaller computers. They also have this thing for multiple monitor desktop resolution. So I assume that's the combination of multiple screens together. So 3840 by 1080 would probably be two 1080p monitors. That's at 57.8% of the user base yeah so i think that's an actual combination of the whatever mini screens you have on your or connected to your, your computer kind of cool seeing that information free hard disk space the struggle is real i'm probably above four terabyte mm, actually free though maybe i'm not that much so it looks like 100 to 240 gigabytes of free space that's honestly not great is the highest percentage for Steam users. Yeah, you should, you guys, you should get some more space on your computer. <laughs> and then there's actual total above one terabyte. So that's a very limited list of options, but above one terabyte, 58.89%. In my case, I have two terabyte main drive, another four terabytes of separate stuff, and then another single terabyte drive. And so I'm up on the top of that list there. And that doesn't even feel like enough with video. A lot of interesting information. Obviously, it's very specific to gamers or whoever uses Steam, maybe for application use and such, which there are some standard applications on there, like video editors, other tools. But in the case of my computer, I'm probably low on the list of some of that stuff, but very, very close to the average user with like a 4060, 3060 type card. Oh, it's so hyped with the 3090, 4090, whatever top tier amazing graphics card, but it's still a pretty low percentage of users on Steam and such. People love hyping the Ferraris of gaming hardware and, and all those things, but the reality is quite different as we see with the Steam survey. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Scott of Tech I Suppose. See ya.